So this is um, about the aquatic plant projects and the Aras Grassland projects we had this year. These are both currently funded by National Parks and Wildlife Service. And in this picture it was taken at um, Dunhill on our, one of our days in Waterford. And it's the only picture I took where I thought you've got the grassland and the aquatic plant habitat in the same shot. It's rather echoey at the moment. So in, I've just put together a, a slide of a map of Ireland showing where we had our grassland workshops, that's the red dots. And they all had sort of six to eight people attend. And then we had our aquatic plants where there's all those black squares scattered around. And as you can see, they're a bit south, southeast. But we, we, we had to go with where we could lead, lead meetings. So the Iris Grassland project, we had five field training days, and these were led by me, with help from Edwina Cole, Fiona McGowan, and Brian O'Connor. And we had five, also had five webinars, and I did the first one, and eight other members of the Dandy a Daisy Clan, and that's what we're looking at in this picture. I'm showing them how to identify how, how to identify um, cats here. And Fanula O'Neill did a brilliant one on meadow grasses and bents. Brenda Howard, two on post and tiller. And you just heard Richard Bateman's one on fragrant orchids. And, and all, all of these are up on our YouTube channels. You can watch these whenever you like. So the Office of Public Works kindly gave us permission to hold workshops at Donna Rail and County Cork and Castletown and County Kildare. And if you've not been to either site, as you saw in Rory's talk, they are amazing for, fla for flowers. And this hay meadow at Donna Rail. All, almost all that yellow you can see is cats here. I've never seen so much on one site before. And there is a few buttercups mixed in. While there, we found this rare smooth brome, Bromus racemosus, and it's only the second record for court and the first since 1993. But it's possibly just an, over, possibly an overlooked grass because it's very similar to soft brome, Bromus hordeaceus. And we had a really Brilliant, exciting day at Lockerbar FM in County Leash with Fiona McGowan took, took us in our cars across several fields before we stopped and parked. And then we had Addis Tum Fern, what's new for the Hector, and only the seventh record for the um, county. And here in this picture, we're looking at um, he Knotted Pearl, and this was the first record in the Hector since the 1950s. And we saw, we got a bit carried away that day, so we did about 99 species of flower. And then we looked at lots of bugs and I saw lots of insects I'd never seen before. And several of the people in this picture follow me on Twitter and I follow them on Twitter. So it was nice to actually meet them in person. So the Aquatic Plants Project 2021. Our first field day was led by John Faulkner on the Cavern Monaghan border. And here they looked at riparian species along the riverside. And then so Killian Roden and John Conaghan took them to some locks in County Galway. And Nick Stewart kindly did three days in Cork, two in Waterford, and one in Kilkenny. And luckily, we had brilliant weather on all, all the days out. And Nick Stewart also did two workshops, or webinars, I should say, one on water crowfoots and one on water starworts. And Nick is also hoping to do one with broadleaf pond weeds. That's yet to be arranged, but that will be late October. So do keep an eye out for the adverts for that webinar. And as you can see in this picture, Nick likes wading right out into the water. And he's using what, it's a bit like a big microscope. He's looking down into the water, trying to find aquatic plants that grow up on the, on the waterbed to bring back. And then he explains how to ID them. And we also looked at non-native aquatic plants. And in this picture, you can see these big yellow patches out in the water, and that's fringe water lily. It's one of our very invasive non-native aquatic plants. And one member brought a boat along, so she and a friend um, rowed out and collected material for the others to look at. And we also looked at hy hybrids, because if, even in the aquatic plant world, plants seem to hybridize and pond weeds do it very red, readily. But in this picture here, we've got a big patch of um, nasturtium times sterile. This is the hybrid between watercress and narrow fruit of watercress. And this was the fourth record for County Waterford and the first since 1997. And I'm sure if Nick Stewart hadn't been there, nobody would have realised it was a hybrid. And here, that's me in the blue checkered shirt. And 
next year, we're holding up variously in Pongweed. And this was new, a new Hector record, not been recorded from this stretch of the river before, at Brown's Barn in County Kilkenny. And what's even more interesting is that Nick had walked along this river recording the Potter McGeatons, Chris Preston had, and so had Dave, David Holyoke, and, my, and myself as well. Wow, so it's amazing, as Nick said, that you can go to sites again and again and still find new, new species. And you'll be pleased to know this is the um, final slide, and this is to link the Irish grassland projects with the aquatic plant project and the rare plant project, what we will hear more about at the, at the spring conference next year. And I've just filled out a form here to show you what we fill in when we find a rare plant. And we were at, on the aquatic day with Nick's church, we found meadow barley by, by the river Nor. And this was last seen here in 1885 by Henry Hart. It was amazing to think that nobody had noticed it because it's quite, it's very rich air for rare plants. So, and I've been there lots of times before. And so you just basically fill out the name of the plant, who was recorded, the date, the county, the site name, put in a grid reference. And I hate, I hate drawing or sketching, so I just stick in a photo to show where, I, where the plant is. And we can email you these forms so you can fill out electronically if you like, or if you'd rather, we, we've got paper copies we can also send out to you in the post. So I'm gonna stop, stop there before I go on forever. So just thank you for listening.